morning, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to my pre-market game plan for the major future indices, gold and oil. For today, Tuesday, it is May 2nd. It's 9.02 a.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to start with the S&P 500 a mini index future, and that's because it's having a really uh, appealing setup on the daily chart and on the hourly chart as well, because it has been consolidating all through the overnight session creating support at 2384.25 and resistance exactly where it is trading right now at 2386.87 area. If we could get a break above this resistance area, we can have further price continuation higher into the 2390 area and back into the 2394 area. Uh, on the daily chart, however, it looks uh, very appealing to me because it is basing and it has been basing for about four trading sessions. And today it looks like it's really holding on to those gains uh, from yesterday's lows uh, at the 2375 area. So if we get a break above the 2390 area, obviously we're going to go and challenge the 2400 area, but we have more targets on our way and other target than 24 that uh, then 2400 is 2412 2415 and 2425 so that is very appealing from uh from the swing trading standpoint as well as long as the support level is going to hold so we're going to look at this trade with a double bias uh for day trading purposes like i said it has odds of continuation uh, continuing higher into the 2400 and also for the swing trading portion of it due to the fact that it has been consolidating very very strong, strongly in the overnight session and we're gonna go back to the hourly chart if we get um, a breach below 2384 then we can see a further continuation lower back into the bottom of this range back to the back to uh, 2380 and back into the 2375 area and these are gonna be actually the lows that were tested yesterday and uh, through the last three trading sessions last week. But all in all, because we have been consolidating rather bullishly at this point, I, I, I could definitely see more upside to this uh, index as well. Let's take a look at NASDAQ. NASDAQ has been the leader, the overall leader. Um, and literally, when you take a look on the daily chart, not only on the hourly chart, you could see that it had a tremendous rally for uh, 3, 9, 12, 13, probably 16 or 17 days in a row. Uh, it has been establishing new highs. 56, uh, 56, uh, 39 is the high that was established actually about an hour ago. Um, and um, it is looking very, very bullishly. The next targets are going to be uh 55 50 55 50, i'm sorry 56 55 and 56 78 uh for the next targets and obviously it has a definite void into the 5700 and 5760. tech stocks are continuing to report uh throughout this week it is a very rich week in um uh, in earnings and also apple big component of nasdaq is going to report after the market closed today so that's going to have a big impact on where the nasdaq uh, will be heading um and we're going to go to the early chart right now and overnight support is first layer of support 56 26.50 the second layer of support is at 56.29 and obviously the resistance the overnight resistance 56 30 uh, 36 and we're breaking them up above that you can see that very bullish price action activity and we're actually trading higher and grinding higher now at this point is really hard to leg into the trade so we literally have to wait for a pullback um, in order to have a risk to re a better risk to reward ratio as of this point, if we initiate a trade at the 5639 uh, or 5640 area, we have to look for a risk uh, all the way into the 5629 area. Uh, on the bearish side, if things start squeaking along the way uh, today, a break of 5625 can actually uh, push the price lower into the 14 area and back into the 56 area, 5600 area. Uh, let's take a look at YM. YM. YM has been the least bullish indice and has been lagging and actually has been grinding lower on the daily chart and on the hourly chart as well. 
Uh, setting a high last week, 21, uh, 21, uh, 21010 here. And as you can see, we have a lot of declining tops and declining bottoms over here. Uh, the overall support from the overnight session is at 20,850 and the key level for today for uh, for the bullish side is going to be 20,875. Uh, if we get a break um, over 75, we can see a rally that can potentially hit uh, 891, 20,900 and back into uh, the 20,925, which at this point will reverse all this uh, descending pattern that we have um, been dealing with uh, for the last few days. Let's take a look at CL and this is oil um, and oil prices have been uh, had been going down yesterday um, 48.59 for a low. We capture some of these gains. We had a first try in which we have been stopped down and then the second try all you have to do is have conviction that the price is gonna go your way so reading the charts properly reading the direction properly and then we had uh, another trade we got into the trade short again and uh, we made some money uh, to the downside um, overall in the overnight session you can see that at 3 a.m. Eastern time we have established support at 48.54 and overnight resistance uh, we have it at 49.28 so we had a hard rally to the upside all the way into resistance. Price got rejected at the 30 level of 49.30 level and then it got pushed back down, erased all, literally almost all the gains from uh, from uh, the European from the European session, from the London session. Let's take a look at GC and this is uh, gold for today. Gold is continuing to uh, to descend in price. It is trading right now at 1253.40 and uh, as long as we're going to get a break into 1256 uh we can short this uh we can short uh we can definitely short gold uh, i will be taking a close look at it and keep in mind that uh so far it's looking like it it's going to be very choppy not a great risk reward level taking into consideration that uh 1250 is a big support level from a sustainable cluster that was formed um, um, in a couple of weeks, that was formed um, actually about a month ago, um, actually on um, March, between March 23rd and um, April 12th. So this is the big cluster that was formed here. And this for, was for about two to three weeks. So it, it's going to hit a heavy congestion area at 1250. That's going to be a big support level. Uh, we may see a trend change or if price continues to weaken out, then a breach of that 1250 area can potentially push price lower um, into the 1240 and back into the 1212 area. This is all for now. For more trading ideas, um, I will be tweeting in our private Twitter feed along uh, this um, throughout the morning. Um, and uh, be very careful today with the market being very extended. Look for proper risk to reward ratio before you get into any trade. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.